Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to register my lab and mastering through Canvas. Okay, now, so I'm going to go ahead and select the My Master My Lab and Mastering tab. And when I select that My, my Lab and Mastering tab, you will notice here in the middle that I want to go ahead and click on Open My Lab and Mastering. Now, the most important thing that you want to make sure that you're doing before you do this is to make sure that you're either in Google Chrome or Firefox. Google Chrome works the best when you're working with My Lab or My Stat Lab. Now keep in mind that uh, with Safari, um, you may end up with some issues and it may just show that you're not even logged in. So my recommendation is to probably use Google Chrome when you're accessing My Lab and Mastering. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and click on Open My Lab and Mastering. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and then register. So in order to register, I need to decide these two options and if I have any of these two options. The first option here is that if I can sign in with your previous Pearson account. So if you already have a previous Pearson account, you can go ahead and put your username and your password. If you forgot it, then you can go ahead and click that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the procedure for creating a Pearson account. So I'm going to go ahead and select Create. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and put my email address in there And I'm going to go ahead and agree to the terms. Okay, and then it says one or more of these apply to me. I'm enrolled in the middle or high school in the United States. I'm under the age of 18 and I reside outside the United States, which it doesn't. I do not wish to receive information about other Pearson products. So if you want to go ahead, you can select that. Now I'm going to go ahead and create an account. Now once I select and create the account, this is the options that I have. I can either enter in an access code that I've either purchased through the bookstore, okay, or I already have one from purchasing it online, or I can use a credit card or a PayPal to purchase here, okay, or I can select the 18-week student access. So I could choose either one of these. The only thing is that this is an 18-week student access, which means that it'll end at 18 weeks. So you have one of those two options. And then down here it says waiting for financial aid and we want to get a temporary access without payment for 14 days. So this is an option and this allows you to be able to register on the first day so that you're able to start and proceed with the class. Now after the 14 days it will notify you that you need to, um, to then uh, update your account to make sure that you can access, com access it completely. Now, um, when that happens, you don't lose any of the existing information. It basically just continues once you've purchased the access code to then have full access to your account. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email me.